So I've got a story here. It's from WCPO.com. And I'm going to read the article that they have here. A Claremont County man charged with shooting his three sons to death Thursday afternoon confessed to what the prosecution called the most heinous, monstrous crime. Court documents say 32-year-old Chad Duerman confessed to planning and carrying out the deaths of victims involved for several months. The judge ordered Duerman be held in the Claremont County Jail on a $20 million cash bond after prosecutors described how he shot and killed three of his children. Prosecutors said all three of the children were shot execution style with a rifle. All three boys were discovered by first responders lying in the yard of a home. They were all pronounced dead at the scene. The Claremont County Sheriff's Office said all life-saving measures were unsuccessful. The boys were aged 3, 4, and 7. In court, prosecutors said Durman lined his three sons up, ready to shoot them. One of the boys was able to run into a nearby field, but Durman chased him and dragged him back to the property before shooting him, according to pro prosecutors. Despite his confession, Durman did not enter a plea while in court Friday. Claremont County Prosecutor Mark Tickolf said despite his 35 years as a prosecutor, this is a case he won't forget. I can only imagine the terror these little boys felt and experienced as their father, their protector, was murdering them, said Tickolf after court. Unfortunately, their mother saw this. You can imagine the immense trauma and terror that she experienced, and we will do the utmost in my office to see this defendant never sees the light of day again. When asked why Tekov sought such a high bond, the highest he said his office has ever requested, he responded with three words, three dead boys. On Thursday, county dispatcher said a 911 call reported a shooting on Laurel Lindell Road in Monroe Township at around 4.15 p.m. Thursday. The sheriff's office said the woman who called screamed that her babies had been shot. A few minutes later, a passerby also called 911 to report that a juvenile girl was running down the road saying that her father was killing everyone. When they arrived, sheriff's deputies found Duerman was sitting outside of a home, a rifle nearby. He didn't resist when officers grabbed him and forced him to the ground to handcuff him. He was taken into custody and later to the Claremont County Jail. A fourth person, the boy's 34-year-old mother, was located outside the home with a gunshot wound to the hand. She was taken to UC Medical Center where Sheriff Robert S. Lehigh later notified her that her sons had died. In an act of desperation to save her children, the mother at some point grabbed the gun the father was wielding to protect them, said Gast, adding the woman was shot through her hand in the process. According to Claremont County court records, Duerman does not have a history of violence or committing crimes, with the exception of one charge from 2010. Documents say Duerman was charged with domestic violence after he allegedly choked his father, but the charges were ultimately dismissed. WCPO reached Duerman's father, but he declined to comment. Duerman is scheduled to reappear in court on June 26 for a preliminary hearing. Okay, so now let's talk about this a little bit. So the juvenile girl that was seen running down the street saying that her father was killing everyone. I initially read that she was running to a, um, like a fire station, local fire station. But she was his stepdaughter, and I don't believe she was an intended target. I believe he was only after killing his, his own children, which were the three boys. Um... This whole Duerman does not have a history of violence, clearly not true. 
he choked his father in 2010. The charges were dismissed, but that does not mean that it did not happen. And I read an article where his father uh, was talking about him and said that he was totally shocked that this had happened, that his son was a good father, he was a good person, um, that he wanted to talk to him to find out why he did this, but the authorities wouldn't let him get in contact with him. Um, so the family seemed to be really shocked. But my thing is, he had been planning this for months, so there had to be some kind of signs that something was off. Um, maybe he treated the boys differently or reacted to them differently. Maybe he had been a little erratic or saying things or doing things that were off. There had to be something, a, some kind of sign. You don't just harbor this hatred for your children or whatever you want to call it for months and not show some kind of outwardly sign. And, you know, this was not a heat of the moment crime. This was planned out. And there's no motive that would ever make what he did okay. But I think that the family deserve to hear why he did this um, makes no sense to me and to choose to do it three days before Father's Day like I don't get it and he did not act in the video because I did watch the video of the police officers confronting him at the home which I won't show here, but if you want to see it, it's, it's definitely out there. Uh, he didn't show any remorse. He was cool, calm, and collected. He even yelled at the dog once to get in the house. Um, he was sitting across from his dead children. They were straight across from him in the yard, and he was sitting on the porch, his hands half raised with a rifle next to him. Um, it's just very odd. How you could do that and just be very nonchalant about everything. Um, so if you get a chance to watch that video, I do recommend it. Um, I'm not going to post it here, but it's kind of all over YouTube and different news sites and whatnot. Um, so you can go check that out. But what I would like to know is your opinion on this. Um... Do, are you like me and you believe this guy definitely was unhinged and had a screw loose? Because I believe to do something like this, you know, there's something majorly wrong with you. Um, what, what do you think happened? Why would he do this? What would cause a person to do this? Um, you know, I... I can't even wrap my head around it, honestly. But uh, I would love to hear your opinions on it. Um, I'm going to try to follow this case and post updates when I can. Um, but basically, that's all I have for today. Um, I just really would like to know what you all think. Uh, please like, share, subscribe for future content, and like I said, um, I'm going to try to follow this case and post an update when I can. So that's it for today. Thanks.